Mm -hmm. Alright, so today this is just an extra lab about oscilloscope. So right now I've already just uh, going the waveforms I have and up here I have a, a bridge rectifier, capacitors, LEDs. I'm using 24 volts AC. I used the multimeter to check the voltages before. But right now I'm just going to chase the waves that as they change on internet and current. So the beauty of an oscilloscope is that you can get waveforms like uh, moments in time so you can be able to see exactly what's happening with the alternating current so before it's rectified as you can see there you can slow down the speed and be able to see the waveform even more clearly uh, set a nice point you get a nice sine wave but after it's rectified the waveform will change into a different pattern and if I change this into DC you'll be able to see the wave only half of it so this side has been rectified it's been cut off by the diode and this side is still the current is going through but with AC circuit you know uh, it goes up and down in a waveform so pretty much that's what you can use an oscilloscope to diagnose your voltage changes within the circuit all right thank you